Ireland versus Scotland, a pool B thriller or World Cup thriller, if I might say so myself. If they had to make a horror movie or a thriller or a movie about a World Cup, it would be about this game. Ireland versus Scotland, all to play for, everything on the line for Scotland. They can still progress. So if Scotland win by four, and I'm, I might be butchering this, four, they need to win by bonus points of so four tries and 21 points. They'll kick South Africa out. They'll kick, they'll kick the Boko out. All to play for for both teams. Ireland will want to keep their form going into quarterfinals. They've both both teams have picked their stronger sides available. Um, man, what a game this is going to be! What's really interesting for me with this is is that both teams play a similar style of rugby as well. They have lots of variation on attack. Uh, the forwards handle the ball really well. Backline come from depth. Coming from the other side of the rock, you have no clue they're coming around the corner and then those guys are linking up behind the back line or behind the forward pod uh, to play those 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 back line plays from depth. Um, I think what will be the, what will be big little opportunities that teams, that these teams will get is if they turn those opportunities into points and that will at the end of the day tell who's going to win. Ireland have been very clinical when they get into opposition's halves or in the 22s, penalties or little opportunities they take with both hands. They're either kicking goals with uh, Johnny Sexton or they're scoring tries. They got only one or two opportunities against the Springboks and they took all of them. This is where I think they will beat Scotland. Yes, both teams like to throw the ball around, which is great. I do think... Ireland are a lot more clinical when it comes to patience in attack, building that pressure, and then turning those opportunities into points. Applying scoreboard pressure through Sexton. I do think Sexton is a better kicker at goal than Finn Russell. We'll get to those two together uh, against each other, that matchup. But man, what a game this is going to be. It's just so like for World Cup going before this World Cup going forward. If Scotland win and get the points they need to get and kick South Africa out, like what are the chances? Weirder things have happened. I mean, Japan beat South Africa. Weirder things have happened. But I just, I, I don't know if I can see that happening. This island team have been on, they've been on fire this World Cup. You look at the, you look at the team. Let me go through. I wouldn't say necessarily, yes, the forwards, obviously standouts for Ireland. The way they can interplay with each other, interplay between themselves and the backline is unreal. But that backline, Gibson Park, Jonathan Sexton, James Lowe, Bundy Arkey, Gary Ringrose, Mac Hansen, and Hugo Keenan. Like, that is a backline if I've ever heard one. That is probably one of Ireland's. I mean, you chuck, you'd obviously chuck um, Brian O'Driscoll in there, but all time, Comes close and man, if they can, if Ireland can get through this game and get through the quarters, because that's their bogey, the quarterfinal is their bogey. So this team will then be dubbed one of the best Ireland Irish teams ever. Um, just look, I mean, that back, Bundy Arkey in fine form. You could say most of these backline players are in the best form right now. Um, and that's what you want going into these games and these games that cost, that count. Um, Switching over to Scotland's team, again, they two teams that play very similar style. So that's why this game is going to be so juicy. We go for key matchups. We've got obviously every the talking point is Finn Russell and Sexton, both playing career best footy. Football, I think, personally, both at a, I mean, Sexton's a bit older, but both at a similar age where you're kind of understanding what it takes to be a good kind of quarterback, I would say. You're calling the shots. You're telling people where to go, where, how to read games, when to sit in the pocket, when to attack the line. Um, I do think Finn Russell is a bit more of an attacker, attacking player, but that can also kind of get him. That can be strength and weakness. Um, but I, I guess for those, for these two players, it'll be which forward pack lays the platform. Because we all know if your forwards are going forward, it's easy for the fly-off, man. The fly-off can just sit back and take all the glory. If your forwards are going to be putting in those hard yards for you. 
Another key matchup, I think, will be Furlong and Skuman in the forwards, man. That first scrum is going to be big. That's where those big, the big piggies, the boys can lay the platform, can set the pace, can set the whole match going forward. You know those piggies are going to be up for it for that first scrum, man. That's going to be a spicy one for sure. You can also look to guys like Bundy Aki for Ireland and Duan van Amarva for Scotland. These guys, again, have also been playing career best footy. I did say that. I've said that a lot now. Um, but Bundy Aki has been the standout for me. If, I think it's the whole World Cup. He'd be up there for play of the tournament. I think he's got the most tries at the moment. And he's just been playing so, so hard to tackle. I've said it before on previous podcasts. So elusive, such a big body. But his ability to straighten the line, he's got a quick little jink right before contact. And you're not, if you don't get a proper shoulder on, you're not going to tackle him, man. He's busting through there, man. So this is going to be a match. I'm going to say, I'm going to say Island by, I think I said Island by eight. It could, it has the potential for Island to, to, to blow the cobwebs out and prop, have a give Scotland a proper, Scotland a proper smank, spanking. You know, my tongue, my, 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 my lips mixed up there. My tongue twisted. But I think, I think Ireland will get it done in the end. Um, we go Ireland by eight. And to make it even more, we'll go ooh, 20 to 12. That's eight day. My math isn't that good. But we'll go Ireland by eight. Uh, I'm looking forward to this one, guys. Let me know in the comments what you think. Um, we'll see you next time. All right.